Normally you get what you pay for. If you try to buy something at half the price of its competitor, it's probably not going to be very good. This is certainly what we expected when we tested four of the most popular carbon fiber tripods on the market, but I am so excited to let you guys know that the cheapest tripod we tested was by far our favorite. First, let me show you guys what we've been using for the last, I don't know, probably 10 or 12 years. And this is actually the last one that we purchased, and this one has never been out of this studio. So it's in really good shape. You can see everything just works like it should. It's so nice to use. Let me though show you what one looks like after it's been used for a few years. Uh, this one's actually been tagged by Mike Kelly. Last time he was in our studio, he put stickers all over our old tripods. We're gonna have to get him back for that. But let's see how this tripod works. Nice, smooth, grinding sand. So as you can see, these things have been wildly abused. We've taken them around the world multiple times. We take them to the beach to shoot. Sometimes we put them in salt water and we never wash them off. And so we definitely deserve this. Now, I would have been happy to use this tripod probably for the rest of my life. So it only cost $250, which is relatively inexpensive. It's a nice solid tripod that really does work well until of course you leave it in salt water for years. It's going to eventually wear out, but overall it's been my favorite tripod. But Manfrotto discontinued this tripod and replaced it with one of the worst tripods I have ever used in my entire life. So this is my review of the uh, Manfrotto 190, ironically made in Italy. <laughs> it loses its feet every time we use it. We've replaced those like twice now. <sighs> the sound of quality. I think I ended up selling that tripod for $20 on Craigslist when we got back. Six months ago, it was time for us to film Photographing the World 3 with Elia once again. And this time I said, I am not going to one of these crazy countries with a crappy tripod again. I called up B&H and I said, send us the four most popular carbon fiber tripods. We're gonna put them all to the test and we're going to figure out what our favorite is. We got one from Benro, one from Really Right Stuff, one from Gitso, and one from Enduro. Now, as you can probably imagine, the Really Right Stuff tripod was by far the most expensive at around $1,000, and the Benro tripod was the cheapest at just $410. And to our surprise, both Patrick and I liked the Benro the best out of all four tripods, and it also happened to be the cheapest. That never happens. So I've got a brand new one here. Let's open this thing up, and I'll show you what's inside the box, and I'll try to explain why we like this thing so much. First of all, it comes in its own carrying case. Absolutely love that. I did not expect that for the price at all. Before we open up the tripod itself, let's open these up, see if there's anything in here. They give you a tool set, which is really awesome, and also spiked feet. So if you're on dirt and you want to dig into the ground, that comes included. That costs extra with a lot of other tripods. Here is a shorter, center column. Once again, incredible, they just give this to you. So basically, if you wanna get as low to the ground as possible, you can lengthen the legs out to the side and use this column instead and really get low to the ground. All right, let's get to the tripod itself here. Comes in this fabric bag, very, very nice, especially for just 410 bucks. And here it is. You know, it's very difficult to explain this on camera, but when you pick this thing up, it just feels so well built, so sturdy, so robust. If you open these legs up, just the way this hinge feels is so secure, but also smooth. It just felt better than the other tripods we tested. And I know a lot of this stuff you could never explain on paper, but when you pick up a tripod and you're using it day after day after day, and you're using it right after you use another tripod, you really start to notice things like this. The legs themselves have screw locks on them, and as you can imagine, these things feel great as well. Just really smooth. I don't know if they have some sort of lubrication or grease in here, but again, these were some of the best feeling screw locks that we tested as well. 
Now, something else that I really appreciate about the way that these things lock and unlock is that it really loosens up its grip with just a short turn. So basically, you can see I'm just barely pulling this out. Some of the other carbon fiber tripods that we've tested, you really had to yank on them even if it was loose. And you can see if I flip this over, it will just fall back into place. A lot of the other carbon fiber tripods could not do that at all. Now with that other Manfrotto tripod that we had, the feet were constantly falling off. It was so infuriating. And with these feet, I don't know what they put in these screws here, but it feels so smooth and secure turning these things. It's like there's, there's like this glue slash grease that's clear that keeps these things securely in place. So when you turn this, it's going to stay there and you can, you can hit it from any direction. It's not going to wobble around or rattle like so many other tripods that we've tested. This thing stays where you put it. When you put this side by side with our other tripod, you can actually see it's pretty significantly smaller. And for us traveling all the time, this is such a, a huge deal for us because we want tripods that we can throw into our checked bags. Now, our old tripod that we actually liked from Manfrotto is about a pound, a pound and a half heavier than this thing. So not only is it a little bit bigger, it's also significantly heavier, especially if you're going to be traveling with it. Sometimes when we're traveling, we're traveling with four or five tripods at once. So we really appreciate the weight savings. This tripod also has a center column. You loosen it here, you can raise it up and down and tighten it like this. We find it to be very secure. It does work very, very well. And this tripod is tall enough at 69 inches that in many cases you will not need this center column, but it is nice to have that extra reach in certain situations. Now, if you wanna get really low to the ground, what you can do is pull this knob out here and then the legs will extend further than normal. So at this point, you can see if we do this for all of these. You can see that gets really, really low to the ground. And of course, we're going to have to switch out this center column for the shorter one, which is included. So if you're the type of person who's constantly shooting very low to the ground, you're really going to appreciate that feature. Now, I really only have one negative thing to say about this tripod in particular, and that's that the center column can only go up and down. It cannot move laterally. So with our old tripod here, you can see I can pull this up, press the button on the bottom, and bring this sideways. So basically, if you wanna shoot straight down with your camera, this is a really handy thing to have. You can't do that with the Benro, so that is definitely a negative. Now, I also have two quirks with carbon fiber tripods in general as well. One has to do with the screw lock system. And I seem to be the only one in the office that actually has this as a uh, negative, but I find it annoying at times when you think the tripod is fully locked down. For instance, I might lengthen this leg a little bit. I can tighten it just a little bit. And then when you start shooting and maybe you put a little weight on the tripod, the whole thing just kind of starts to fall down. And then of course, if you have all of these sections open, you may not know which one is slipping and then you're gonna have to go through and tighten every single one. I kinda like the fact that with these flip lever locks, I can just look at them and know if they're open or not. There's not, there's not like a halfway point where it's a little locked down, but it might still slip with enough weight. They're either locked or they're unlocked. My other gripe really isn't fair, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I like tripods that when you unlock the legs, I like the weight of the legs to pull them out. And this one will kind of do that. You can see I, I might be able to like kind of shake it down a little bit. It works better than any of the other carbon fiber tripods that we tested, but I think it's so much faster when you have a tripod that you can just pop that leg open and it just falls all the way down. That really doesn't work with carbon fiber tripods just because the legs are so light, they're not going to be pulled down by gravity alone. So you have to go and lengthen it by hand every single time. Again, it's not really a fair comparison. And if I had to choose between legs that fall down with gravity or having a lighter tripod, I'm definitely going with the carbon fiber. Now we've only had these Benro tripods for a few months now, so I can't comment on whether or not they're going to survive after five or 10 years of abuse like our other tripods here. However, I can say that we use these side by side with some other super high-end tripods. And when some of these nuts and bolts on other tripods started to get loose and required us to tighten them down while we're on the road, we didn't have any issues like that with the Benro at all.
Now, if I was a normal photographer and I had one camera and one tripod, maybe you could convince me to spend $1,000 or more on a tripod that I was really going to take care of and I was really going to baby. But for f-stoppers, I've been resisting the move to carbon fiber for years now simply because they're so expensive and I knew that we were going to destroy them anyway. We do not treat our tripods nicely at all. But after using this tripod, it has been such a pleasure to use something that's so well built. And being that it's only $410, so much cheaper than many other carbon fiber tripods, it was an easy decision for us to make the switch from Manfrotto steel tripods over to this Benro system. But I've gotta say, I love these tripods so much, it actually makes me wanna take a little bit better care of them. So we're not getting rid of the Manfrotto system. We're gonna keep these in the studio and we're going to use them just for the days that we go to the beach and we need something that we can put in salt water. Oh yeah. Now, if you're interested in seeing more of the tripods that we used in this comparison, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out Photographing the World 3 behind the scenes. We're currently releasing an episode every single week, and in the description of this video, you'll be able to find links to those videos. If you want more free content just like this, head over to fstoppers.com, and if you'd like to take your photography to the next level, check out our full-length tutorials on fstoppers.com slash stories.